afternoon, everybody. I'm Dennis Asales. I'm the president of the University of Delaware, and I'm thrilled to be here today for the grand opening of U Dairy Ice Cream here at uh, Wilmington on Market Street. It's amazing. The University of Delaware has been a partner of the Wilmington community for years with our Associate in Arts program around the corner on Market and 8th Street. But today we're taking our partnership to the next level. And what a level it is with great U Dairy ice cream. So we're here to celebrate and we have some wonderful friends of the university with us. Uh, and that's you. First of all, first and foremost yourselves, the community, the loving community of Wilmington and our great governor, John Carney, a wonderful friend of the university who is really helping us take the university to the next level. So, Governor Carney, we're delighted you're here today. Thank you very much, President Assange. Is there any Bluehead fans out there? Yeah. Our Blueheads! There's nothing more important to my administration than making the city of Wilmington successful. Because if the city of Wilmington is successful, the state of Delaware is going to be successful. That's it. That's right. We've got the mayor coming up next. I've got my ice cream. I'm all, almost all the way through with it. But so that's why it's so important to have announcements like this, where we have the UD Dairy Creamery coming here to open up on Market Street Mall. We need some ice cream downtown, number one. Right? We need business here on the Market Street Mall. We need some attractions to bring people out to re revitalize our Market Street Mall in downtown Wilmington so our city can be successful. We've been working since I was sworn in as your governor about three months ago, three and a half months ago. We've been working with Mayor Prozicki and with County Executive Matt Meyer on doing everything that we can to strengthen the neighborhoods in our city, to strengthen our central business district, and to make Wilmington strong and vibrant again. And you are the folks that are gonna make it happen by coming out here on the Market Street Mall. So thank you for coming today. This project is made possible by our downtown development district programs that was started under Governor Markell. There are about eight or nine of them across our state, including Wilmington and Smyrna and Dover and Laurel and Seaford and Georgetown. And those monies are, are those monies being made available to the University of Delaware and other entrepreneurs here on the Mar on Market Street Mall are going to bring businesses here and make Wilmington a really exciting place to be. So thank you all for coming out. Enjoy the ice cream. And now, the former football star from the University of Delaware Blue Hands from Newark, New Jersey, the mayor of the city of Wilmington. Our own good guy, Mike Prezik. That's terrible. That's terrible. Former, 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 former football player. <laughs> thank you, John. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Wilmington. It's so good to be here. God love this state. Only in Delaware can you open up an ice cream store and get the governor, the mayor, and the president of the university here. I love this place. Um, so I have, uh, so I, every, anybody who knows me knows I have a terrible weakness uh, for Blue Hand football. I'm an old alum, and it's really exciting to have the university here. I told Dennis, I said, Dennis, I want you to open up, I want you to get the university here. I want, I, I can see this big building, I can see this great school, I can see the Biden School of Urban something. And here you are, okay, he said, okay, Mike, I did it for you. So, now we're thrilled about this. I love, I love my university. And I confess, to, uh, I confess to one guilty pleasure in my entire life, and that's ice cream. I mean, it's, that's, a, that's, a, that's as much trouble as I'm going to get in. But uh, I do love it, and i got to tell you, I love, I, love having, I love having the creamery here. You're going to be a great addition. Uh, the, uh, everybody wants the city to grow in big leaps and bounds. You know how the city grows? It grows in small increments of quality. It's the, it's the small things that make a city great. It's the little individual things, the things that are special that nobody else has that makes your city great. And we, we welcome you uh, with open arms. And if there's ever a problem, you call the mayor's office. So um, I'm, it's my next uh, obligation here to introduce my friend, uh, Mike Hare. 
Uh, Mike, uh, it's a little known fact, when I was the uh, head of the Riverfront Development Corporation, Mike actually hired me, we worked together forever. Now Mike's uh, responsible, along with Bucchini Poland, uh, to building half of our city. And we're, we couldn't be happier to have BPG committed to our city, and my friend Mike Kerr, who's gonna speak next, is an integral part of that effort. So Mike, welcome. Thank you, Mayor. Thanks, everybody. Very few people clap for the landlord, but uh, that, that's our role today. And uh, we couldn't be more proud to be a partner with the University of Delaware in this exciting project. At BPG, we're committed to growing our city, and I think we've worked in the last 15 to 20 years to do that by bringing new residences to city, the city, 1,135 apartment units in the last 10 years, <laughs> renovating office space, and so committed to the central core along Market Street, and then just behind on Shipley Street, you can see the big hole in the ground is filling in with 500 parking spaces and 200 more units. But the key to getting people to want to work in Wilmington, to want to live here, to add amenities for our residents who already are here and the people who work here today, and to make this a compelling city is to bring exciting attractions to our city. And this is an exciting attraction. So Dr. President, we in the city have been working for years to expand the university's footprint. And I can't think of a more delicious way to do that. And on behalf of the lactose intolerant in our community, myself included, uh, this is a risk worth taking. Uh, we had the privilege of building the university's bookstore several years in Newark, and uh, we would partake in the great work of the Uderi. Uh, as a, my uncle, 100 years ago, was an ag major and uh, milked those very cows. So it's a privilege to kind of watch, as you say, the full trajectory of from cow to cone, and uh, now that this ice cream is in Wilmington. So we're thrilled to be your partner, we're proud to support you, and we're so grateful that you brought your great brand, the great brand of the University of Delaware, to Market Street. So the person probably most responsible for the very story of the cow to cone is the Dean of the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. Please welcome Mark Rieger. Thank you, Mike, appreciate that. I don't know, there's a whole lot of people to thank here, but uh, let's start, I'll tell you what, with the students that are gonna work here. The reason that we're here and the product of that place across the street is a better educated student. The byproduct is the ice cream. It's a good byproduct to have, right? So students in the audience, raise your hands. Who, where are you? Well, they may all be in there working. There's a couple over there, all right. And uh, a couple other uh, major uh, folks in the audience that were instrumental in getting us here today Keith Medwood, right over here. Keith, raise your hand. So Keith worked at the Creamery on campus for four years, right, Keith? Two, okay, two, well, all right. we double it, it's almost graduation, it's okay. But, uh, but Keith is gonna go on to a wonderful career in some form of agribusiness or food science because of his experience in the Creamery, and he helped write the business plan that you guys helped fund, that the students put this together you know, about a year ago. And Melinda, raise your hand. Melinda Shaw. She is the superintendent of the creamery, and she is the mastermind behind all of this stuff, whether it's the Go Baby Go Cafe, or the creamery on campus, or the Moo Mobile. She talked me into buying that a few years ago. That was interesting. And now it's, now it's a Delaware uh, centerpiece. And then uh, Jen and Leanne, also the, the, uh, the creamery managers, you'll meet them. Leanne, raise your hand. She's going to manage this place. Okay. So uh, you'll, you'll be seeing our students every day that you come by and patronize the ice cream. And Grace Weiser, would you raise your hand? Grace helped put the event on today, so we want to give her a special shout out for all the logistics and all the free ice cream that's coming your way. So, so many people to thank. Thank you to Puccini Pollen for inviting us to be part of the downtown revitalization. We feel blessed to be a part of that. We can only see uh, more in the future as we you know, unfold our, our uh, line of great dairy uh, products beyond ice cream to cheese and milk and everything else. So be with us as we grow, and it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mark. Uh, the University of Delaware and you dairy ice cream are here at Wilmington to stay. This is a great partnership. We're thrilled to join Governor Carney and Mayor Brzezinski in their efforts to rebuild Wilmington, but this is not going to happen without your love and support. 
So we really appreciate your engagement. And let's give it one more time, one more hand to our students and faculty who make this possible. And now the big moment. Normally when you have a grand opening, you have a ribbon cutting. But rather than a ribbon cutting, you're going to have this group of distinguished delegates help me scoop some ice cream, free ice cream for you, till two o'clock. Please join us. Thank you so much. Yeah. Need a countdown. Need a countdown. All right. Ten. Nine. 